Hey y'all, welcome to Wild Blue. So we're kind of starting something new here today. Kind of a new video format I'm looking at. Something like a weekly news compilation, pulling some videos out there of different UFO sightings and stuff that uh, I don't usually talk about. I, I know I've been slacking off lately trying to get videos out to y'all and uh, you know, try and step it up a little bit here, maybe get a few videos out per week. So this is gonna be one of those new formats. You see, I'm gonna try and get this uh, put out here. Or something new I show y'all here. I made this guy, 3D printed him, the new 3D printer I got. Sasquatch, unfortunately his arm fell off, so I'm gonna have to glue it back on. See, got it right here. It was my second attempt. Actually one of many. This is my first one here, the little one. I had a few more that uh, didn't turn out so well either. Just feet. Anyway, we're gonna get on into this. Found some videos here that were fairly interesting. And we're gonna look at them here. This first one here that I found, this one says, Real Ghost Caught on Camera, YouTube Shorts. Got the scary music going there. Well, there goes something moving across the screen. Start at the very beginning. It actually looks like some kind of nanny cam. I see a little, what looks to be a child moving around on there. Definitely not something you would want to floating around your kids if they're trying to sleep at night and keep them awake. Scare the daylights out of them. Interesting stuff there. Move on to the next one here. This one's called Triangle Shaped Black UFO Spotted Hovering Over Draper in Utah. This video was posted this week. Let's see what we got here. September 16th. There it is, some kind of triangle. It is a bit ominous. They're having a hard time focusing, focusing in on it. But it is uh, apparently triangular and it certainly is a black shape. So they ain't lying in the title of the video. Whether it is extraterrestrial in origin, definitely can't say at this point. I'm going to speed ahead here in the video, see if there's anything else maybe worth seeing here. It's just kind of floating there. Could easily be some kind of balloon or some sort of drone. These things are a dime a dozen these days. So yeah, it looks like the whole video just kind of sit there floating. I don't know if it's anything to be too uh, excited about. Now let's move on to our next one here. This one was uh, from this month, Pennsylvania. Apparently this guy's shopping here in a convenience store. And then he decides to go outside, and, and then this is where he must see this UFO, apparently. Let's see what we got. He's still walking around. I'm going to skip ahead a bit here to the point where he identifies whatever this thing is. It's just a bright light shining there. I don't know if that's it. See a line there. It looks like some kind of contrail, maybe. Rocket launch. SpaceX is always launching them rockets up. Usually it's not near Pennsylvania. Hmm. It's kind of strange, but cam camera footage is so grainy and blurry you can't see nothing from it, so not much I can make out of this. Definitely is a light there. Whether it's something to be excited about, I don't think so. Let's move on to under move on to our next one here another sighting in February February 2nd some sort of cigar shaped object here Let's see where this one was over Indiana yeah these cigar shaped ones are fairly interesting definitely one of the common ones I believe it was Betty and Barney Hill Back in the day, we were abducted by aliens who were flying one of these cigar-shaped ships. But for the most part, it's just sitting there. They kind of zoom in and what they call this enhanced footage, but it appears to be just a kind of a, you know, zoomed-in, pixelated version of what we was just seeing a second ago. They're talking over it. I'm not too interested in what they're saying. It sounds like they're... Just contemplating what it is as we are here, as we're sitting here watching this. Let's move on to our next one here. This one looks pretty interesting right here. 
Rio de Janeiro. It's a daylight sighting. Got a beach there in the foreground. And some sort of cloud shaped object hovering around in the background. Now it's just hovering there. Something's hovering. I'm not uh, too inclined to believe it's anything strange unless it's a weird shape that's obviously not digitally interpolated into the, the footage and it's obviously not something known. I mean, this is hard to make out what this is. It's just a, a black line on the screen. I really need to see something zigzagging around all crazy like for me to believe it's something uh, out of the ordinary. Move on to the next one here. This one here I believe is a Sasquatch sighting. All right, here in this video we got some kind of Sasquatch purportedly crossing this field through here. July 28th, 2018. This is an older video, just been reposted. Definitely your typical Sasquatch sighting with your grainy footage. I'm using a front facing camera on my phone right now. A little bit of a downgrade of what I usually use to film these videos and it's a uh, much better quality than what we got here. This phone is much better than my previous phone which was from 2018 so this guy must have rigged up a potato or something to be filming this because it looks pretty old but definitely interesting could very well be a guy in a costume out there just prancing around in the for in the, the field there maybe it is something to be interested in but now he looks to be standing up on his hind legs and walking crouching down again and then standing up some interesting behaviors from this creature I'd like to see it in a bit a uh, bit clearer footage but you know can't always get what we ask for let's see this last one here Apparently some ghost footage from uh, this year as well. This is extremely blurry. I'm not seeing nothing yet. And whatever I see would very likely be anything. Let's uh, move forward a bit here. The whole camera darkens. Let's see where that happens. You know what, I just realized it's a four hour long video. Hold on, there's something lighting up there. About two hours and 52 minutes into it. Well, to be honest, I can't make much of nothing in this. I guess it was a live stream by this guy. You can't really tell what's in the video. I guess he was just looking for something. Maybe he always sees something in this area of his house looking out at the, the curtains and out the window, but I'm not seeing anything, so. Well, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Got a few interesting sightings. A few UFO sightings, ghosts, and a Sasquatch. All your traditional grainy and unclear footage. If anyone's out there got something better than this, please send it my way and I'll play whatever you got and we'll share it with the audience. See ya. See what we can all find together. Anyway, that concludes this video. If y'all have any stories, send them to wildbluetvstories gmail.com. Check out our website and check out our Facebook page. Links are in the description. Like and subscribe. With that, Wild Blue out.